Okay, now that we've actually found an Allen key, we just want to remove the three bolts, which as you can see come out dead easily. Nothing to do with the fact that I've just spent a few minutes trying to crack them. Put them somewhere safe, which doesn't exist around my house apparently. Get rid of these other Allen keys. Put it there. That comes out. To, oh wait, there's a washer there, it didn't come out, did it? Oh yeah, it did. And three, each one has a washer. If your new viscous fan, uh, viscous coupling didn't come with bolts, you might want to save these somewhere safe. Just in case. Well, not just in case, but you need to save them. Now this comes out. That is, as you can see, totally buggered. Whee! We'll recycle that somehow. Apparently, if you leave anything outside my house that's made vaguely composed of metal, it'll get nicked. So, what was my point? Oh yeah, so, probably the easiest way to recycle it would be just to leave it outside my house overnight. And some pikey will come and nick it. Anyhow, not bitter at all for the fact that five of my wheels got stolen the other day. Just giving this a bit of a clean. As it's been with the car for what, oh, 14, 15 years now? Get rid of, get rid of all this crap. I mean, if I was doing this properly, I'd probably put the pressure wash on this and give it a good clean. But right now, I'm cold. I want to go back in as quickly as possible. So, it's just a quick clean off. This is pretty stuck on actually. Now, I have no clue what this tool is before anyone asks. My, a friend of mine who used to be a mechanic and used to look after my cars, who also taught me a bit about cars, left it in my car before he moved to Spain. And yeah, he didn't want it back, but I still don't know what it is. Okay, that's a bit more manageable now that there aren't three kilos of gunk encased on it. That's fan. Fan blades actually don't look very even if you those two look closer than those. Yeah, that looks nothing like it's even. It's weird. Anyhow, let's grab the new thing. Now you should never store these flat I'm told. Always horizontal. So hey. Store them in the horizontal. The fun part will be remembering which way it went. Could have been that way. Or it could have been that way. Probably should have checked before removing it, shouldn't I? That would have made too much sense. And given that I've cleaned it off, I can't even tell from the mud encasement. Charming. Okay, that has square grooves. That doesn't, so I'm guessing it's that way. Find out soon enough, huh? Get the bolts back in. I could probably review the videotape footage to find out which way it was. Okay. I might have to come back out later or tomorrow, given the weather. It's nice, but it's cold. And swap it over. And was that the one? And half an hour later, press a quick wipe. Oh, 
my back out. Slide it in. And again, remember it's a left hand screw, so lefty, uh, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey does not work in this case. Problem is, you don't want to counter thread it. Not counter thread, you don't want to cross thread it. So you want to do this nice and gently without applying too much force until it decides of its own accord that it's found the right way and give it a spin. Now again, I've been told that you could just leave it like that, start the engine and let the engine spin up, tighten it. But what we'll do is grab that again. Lock that in. Grab our trusty metal bar. Lock that in. Is that locked? No, that's not locked. Yeah. Sorry. Lock that in. Lock that in. And give it a good tighten. Wait, my spanner's stuck. <laughs> Reason provides some resistance. It's fairly cold, so you don't want it to be perfectly glued on. Once the engine gets hot, in theory, it should get stuck on. Let's get that shunt on. Then we need a bucket of Swarfiga to get this off. Oh, fudge. Get that out. Get out. Make sure we don't leave any tools in the engine bay. Ideally, I'd love want to start the car and get the engine to warm up, but my hands are a little bit greasy. So let's do this. Let's try to it's not greasy. And you know, the W202s have the most sensitive immobilizers on the planet. If Angelina Jolie wanted to steal this car, she wouldn't be able to. So now that's spinning, nice and fast, pulling air through the front by putting our hand here. If I put a few flaps of cut paper, you'll notice that there's wind coming out of it, nice and fast. Putting it in front, gets it drawn into the engine bay. So we've got air going into here, through the radiator, nice and cold. After here, it gets pushed through the engine a bit. So, hopefully, this will get us through the desert in a safe and sound condition. Now, the ultimate test would be the carrot test, i.e. once it's worn, shove a carrot in there. I've been told you can use your finger. I'm not going to do either. And with that, I wish you good luck.